Well, what's up everybody, it's Chris, and today we're working on the 1200 again because I thought I would finally put in this bracket that I got from Centurion because I have no base, I have no metal, I have no bottom case, everything's a mess, so I just took all the screws out and I'm going to take the board out. This is a uh, Rev 1B, so I don't have the extra little slot thing. I have my vampires, uh, yeah, slot thing in there. I have one screw and a standoff over here, which I need to remove. What was all this about? My Amiga, as you can see, came with a little paper board. I purchased this one with a VGA where the thing above or was I'm gonna take this out this has the cutouts for fitting in here just ever so nicely but it kind of pokes out so that's a that's a thing you gotta do I'm gonna poke this out tuck my little captain tape dudes back in there because the plastic in here apparently likes to push it up metal touching my bold we'll slide my paper I'm gonna do it underneath if it'll let me yeah. so my paper and the Amiga because I have no metal shielding as I stated before therefore it makes it hard to bolt to anything, screw to anything, because I only have a couple places that I can. Now since I have no bottom shielding to line anything up on, I always have to stick my PCMCIA card in just to make sure I'm within spec when I stick my little one standoff ghetto style screw through here. This is by no means at all perfect, but it works. And then with the rear in, it'll allow me to actually have something besides the floppy print holding this all together. It works. Floppy is in. Board is in. I can do my standoffs now through the existing metal. It's captain taped. It also has the paper on it. I'm going to reinsert my uh, power and my keyboard lights and all of that good stuff. I'm going to see if I can do this now. I have to put the screws in anyway, but I'm not going to put them in just quite yet. We're going to see if we can put this fat card in the way it's supposed to go. Oop, pops right in. So if you file that little edge off, you're gold. Which is nice. I'm going to put my screws in now on the wrong screwdriver. I'm not going to put the lid on yet because, or the trapdoor cover, because you know my luck. Alright, so are we on? Is this on? Is this thing on? I don't know. There we go. Turn it on. I'm going to redo this flash floppy display. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it. Okay, so it's booting and it's just the stupid card again. Kind of got to give the old Nintendo. I don't know why. And I forgot to plug in my mouse. Validating the hard drive. Great! I don't have any memory. I took the card out. This is just a... Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm a crazy resolution. I'm gonna flip the screen mode back. Back in. Long video of wasted nothing. Give it the old, uh, how you doing there? And just slide it right in. Okay. That jumper fall off. 8 meg external. Nope. And now it's deciding to work. So what should you get? I think you should get this. 
because it'll do your Amiga DB23 to an HDMI interface and you can then, whoops, you can then push the button and get on the wrong screen. If I have a mouse, I have to reboot again. Dang it! So this mouse is nice if you don't mind booting a couple times. Every computer I've hooked it up to, it has to go over twice. Works fine. Well, scroll button. I can't get to work with any scroll programs. There we go. And I have a mouse now. So I'm going to go into screen mode and I'm going to get out of this crazy one. And we're just going to do a double NTSC high res no flicker. Use. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do it. That's not it. Okay. That's double NTSC high res lace. How about that one? Good thing I said use. <laughs> now this doesn't upscale anything. This doesn't buffer it. It doesn't convert it to VGA. So that's why I'm still SCART RGB. So I have to be in a 15 kilohertz mode. It'll be clear, but it's not going to be the higher resolution count. It's going to be a 320 by whatever image. We're going to go into uh, NTSC High Res Laced. I think it's going to work. There we go. So we'll go back in here and we'll say save. Okay, so now it'll show up normally. Now, I do still have Mode Pro running, right? But I don't need to. So I can actually delete this entry. And I can, whoops, I can also tell it if I remember, don't ask about unknown screens, and you can even undo screen promotion. And then hit save. So that way, if, if, even if it runs, it's not gonna promote anything. And then you could run Super Stardust, and you can see this will do PAL or NTSC. It was $23 for this, uh, for this, converter and it works fine it'll work on an HDMI television so that's the way you should go I mean I do like the authentic experience there with the cheats you don't have to do nothing you can get run into I do missiles because they just kind of home to wherever Anyway, and that's Super Stardust. You can see it looks totally clear. I can uh, play WHD load just quite fine, and it works quite well. I'm in a native Amiga resolution. It's 15 kilohertz. It's upscaled. And if you wanted to change it, you could press PAL. And if I had a PAL monitor, it might go. I don't know. Yeah, PAL. So now I'm in PAL. I have to to quit. There is one more I have. This is a generic Chinesium uh, VGA to HDMI. This will take HDMI in and out, and it also has this little box for all the component and composites, YBPR and uh, right and left audio, and then you can output that direct to a USB. It's more of a capture type device. I've had various results with it. That's why I don't even include it in most of my things because it's kind of sucks. This is my other thing. It's VGA to HDMI. Let's see all that. It's VGA to HDMI, and you would just go right out off of the uh, off of your adapter here. It just plugs right in, and that gives you an HDMI out. I really have mixed results with this because it requires a 5 volt power and you get an audio also but it doesn't do HDMI audio on the Amiga so you don't have to worry about that. So that are, that are, those are some various connections that you can hook up your Amiga with and I hope this helps someone out there and as always I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.